This is my unboxing video of my day designer planner. Hi everybody, welcome back to Project Happy Home. For those of you who are new here, I'm Tanya, an MDJD turned homeschooling mom of three kids ages seven, four, and two. I had had a day designer planner before for everyday use, but of course now I'm a Hobo Nietzsche addict and that's what I use for my personal planning. But this year I wanted to get a day designer to use in conjunction with my Lime Life planner for homeschooling specifically and I will be unboxing it and in another video to come I will show you how I plan on using it for homeschooling. So the Day Designer Planner comes beautifully packaged in this turquoise sturdy cardboard box and when you open it it's such a glorious surprise. There is this gold foil detail and when you take out the box the planner itself comes in its own drawer. So you can use this as well for supplies. So you get not only the planner, but this gorgeous drawer with it. And I have not unboxed it at all yet. So this is just how it comes. So beautifully packaged. The drawer itself is lovely and has this turquoise interior with a little ribbon pull tag. And I definitely will be saving this for use in other things. The day designer comes with this little cardstock card describing what's inside. So it has today and to do, it has a focus section, alignment to set goals, an inspirational section, big picture pages, so yearly, monthly, and daily overview pages, as well as reminder, weekly prompts, things to prioritize your day. Everything about the day designer is so well done. The, the fonts they choose, the beautiful layouts that they have. I, I adored using this planner. The reason I switched from a day designer originally to a Hobonichi is just because I wanted to incorporate my journaling with my planning. Look at how gorgeous this is, you guys. So it comes bubble wrapped and then also in a nice sleeve for safety. So there's absolutely no bending of any of the corners when you get it. Everything is just gorgeous. So I got this cover with this beautiful jungle pattern with a flamingo and a tiger on it. This is the academic edition. So it starts mid-year in June and goes on to May of 2018. When you open it, it has these beautiful metal edged corners to protect your corners for you. And there's this lovely glossy pocket folder on the inside of the front cover. The planner has these gold tabs with white font to separate out all your months. It has a little section for you to put your word of the year. There's a letter from Whitney English, the founder of Day Designer, and there's an explanation where it tells you exactly how to use the purpose pages, the daily pages, what the result of this type of planning will be, as well as other available resources. Daydesigner.com has a lot of free printables. So if you're one of those people who likes printing out things and binding them yourself, you can actually print out the daily plan pages from the Day Designer. Um, they'll be undated, but you can print them out for free and just bind it yourself if you like. Um, I really value how high quality the planner is, so I don't recommend doing that. It is an, on the expensive side, but in the family of Erin Condren and everything, I think that if you like planning, if you enjoy it, it's definitely worth the investment. So they have one page here for my reality check. And it has life segment, time I do spend, money I do spend, the time I want to spend, and money I want to spend. And it goes through different areas in there. Career, social, family, chores, TV and distractions, spiritual, physical, volunteering, education, residence, car, clothes, food, entertainment, vacations, marriage, and hobbies. And you can kind of plan out what do you spend on these? Like, where is your focus right now and where would you like it to be? And how can you then align your values with your planning? On this page, they have this lovely Venn diagram where it talks about your core values. So you have your values, your passions, and your strengths. And the ideal life really aligns these three things. And so I really appreciate how Whitney English has this emphasis on planning your life intentionally. This page has your heart goals and it lays out how you help yourself, everyone else, your attitude and academics, your resources, and your career. And it goes through and has like a three month plan, a six month plan, a nine month plan, and a one year plan. This page has your plan and it has different goals. So it has area for 10 goals down this side. And then it has 
monthly actions to achieve those goals, weekly routines to achieve those goals, daily habits, as well as uh, what progress looks like. There's a page here where you can just write out what an ideal month for you would look like. How many times would you go for walks? How many times would you work out? Where would you be spending time with your husband? Where would you be spending time with your kids? It's a really good way to plan out what does an ideal month look like for you? How would you want to spend your life? Because the way you spend your days is the way you spend your life. And that's the truth. Here's an ideal week. So it blocks out times by the hour from 5 a.m. all the way to midnight and throughout the week. And you can block out like, where are you at work? Where are you sleeping? Where are you taking care of yourself? You can do it in any myriad of ways, but it's a really nice layout to figure out how you're gonna do that. Then there's a 12 month overview where it goes all the way from June, 2017, all the way down to May, 2018. So you can clearly see on a two page spread all the days of the week coming up. Here you have June, 2017. You have the monthly calendar spread out on two separate pages and you have an area for notes along this side. The boxes are really quite nice and large to give you an idea, it's about a two knuckle width here. Major holidays are laid out there. So first day of summer here, flag day, father's day. I also like how every major holiday already has a little flag symbol so you don't even need stickers or anything in this planner. When you turn the page it launches right into the daily pages. And this is the basic layout of a daily page for a weekday. So here you have Friday June 2nd. You have a quote at the top of the page. What wisdom can you find that is greater than kindness? And every page has a different quote. You have a section for today's top three goals and then four little boxes up here. What is due today? a dollars box and that can be dollars spent or dollars earned. There's a don't forget box and a dinner box. There's a two column spread below that, one half of which is a timetable running from 5 a.m. to 9 p.m. and a to-do list as well. And the to-do list as you can see is quite extensive. And then there's a notes section and a daily gratitude section. What I plan to be using this planner for is a record of our homeschool year. So I will be writing down our top three goals up here, or perhaps I'll be writing down where we might be going or just agenda items. I don't know exactly what I'll do up here. I love that it has a daily gratitude section so I can always remember to feel grateful during my day with my children. And then the notes section as well. I think I'll write down a reflection or write down something that my children said that was inspiring or funny or something I wanna remember. I like that it has a timetable so that I can be more realistic about our day, about when we have co-ops, when we have play dates, when we have lunch, when we have like coaching or, or classes or whatnot so that I know exactly how much time I have in between events to schedule activities. For my to-do list section, I will not be writing what we plan to do here. Instead, I'll be writing what we actually do here. So I'm going to be using my Lime Life Planner to basically act as a looking forward planner where I write down what I hope we get through throughout the year, where I block out lessons for different curricula, but this is going to be my record of our homeschool year. Another idea I had for the notes section was to put in little pictures. I have a little printer that I'll do a video on later where you can print out pictures directly from your iPhone and they'll be a, a little small size about like two inches by an inch and that'll be just perfect to put in a picture of the day here or maybe an Instagram shot or something like that. You, the layout on a Saturday Sunday is a little bit different. They don't have a full page for Saturday or Sunday. Instead it's split into two columns, one for Saturday, one for Sunday. Basically you lose the to-do list and you just have a top three to-do section and then the timetable. And they also have a little running bar across the bottom with the days of the coming week. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And you can just note down if there's events coming up so that you can prepare for them over the weekend should you need to. That format continues throughout the month. As you can see, this is the last day of June and it's actually printed on the divider for the month of July. When you turn the divider, you're straight into the monthly calendar for July and then the daily pages start. Here you have the last day of May, 2018 and then you have a couple pages for notes and it has three header bars on one page and then you have one, two, three blank pages. And that is the Day Designer Planner. I really enjoyed using this planner my first year at home uh, working part-time 
with the children. It was a really good way for me to organize my days that were so different than my work days. So I think this is a great planner for everyone from a working mom to a stay-at-home mom to a homeschooling mom. I think that a lot of us could use a planner that clearly has a, a timetable and a to-do list together. I also really like the clean font and the clean appearance of this planner. It's very customizable to your own preference. Um, it doesn't lend itself really well to stickers and a lot of busy work, but it is really, really beautiful. And if you wanted to decorate, of course, they do provide ample room along the bottom. So I hope you enjoyed that review. I love the Day Designer. I think it's one of my favorite planners if you don't want to be very open-ended with your planning and you just want to get things done. So thanks so much for watching. As always, if you like this video, don't forget to hit the thumbs up and subscribe. I wish you the very best day.